I'm a curator and a historian. I've worked with the museum now for at least 10 years and my research interest is in how to use the Maclay collections in particular to write histories of the Torres Strait. I am Professor of Art History and Visual Culture here at the University of Sydney. I've been very involved in uh, the curriculum of art history and the art history programme for which this museum is an absolute marvel and will be really transformational. I've been working on the design of interactive uh, galleries and um, museum technologies for more than 10 years. The main opportunity is actually having such a world-class collection um, in such an accessible place, that landmark museum that the students can access anytime they want. I think for myself and for all the colleagues in art history, this museum will be completely transformational. There's a lot of history that is told in stories. Objects can either add to that or give us new angles on stories that are told. The Chow Chak Wing Museum will be amazing for what I can do with students because it brings all the collections together. We will be able to bring classes in small groups here into the object-based teaching rooms and finally slightly abandon the PowerPoint way of teaching art history and get close and dirty with the objects. Getting students to think about the, the interconnectedness of those collections as well, particularly in thinking about world history. Collections here, very important Indigenous Australian collections, we have Asian art collections, we have collections that represent the breadth of European art, and so the chance to enthuse years and years of students with the knowledge and the understanding of art is really a precious opportunity, and that's what this museum will do in so many ways. I think that this museum can really become embedded in the identity of what it means to be a University of Sydney student. It's so prominent, it's so clearly part of the university now. It's not every campus that has that opportunity, so it's something really special. We'll be bringing students in here, enthusing them, getting them to think how deeply about what art and visual culture mean in societies, to really grasp what it means to make, understand and get to grips with the meaning of art. I think it's really valuable for students to be able to just walk right into the building that's right here on campus and actually really engage with the collections on a very personal level they get their first sort of spark of excitement by seeing sort of real artworks or coming close up to an object they didn't think was as big as they saw it when they actually encountered it or uh, they couldn't believe the material nature of sculpture or something that that is the kind of touch the kind of sort of moment of inspiration that we want to curate through object based learning in this museum We can use the object rooms, we can look at exhibitions, we can even have objects on display in the object study rooms. I think that by embedding these, uh, these values and this accessibility um, early on in people's lives that you can kind of create this lifelong passion for, for museums and their collections and what that actually means to us. I think it'll transform my teaching and that of all my colleagues who teach in the art history programme. I think the possibilities are limitless.